If you're trying to play Starfield but can't get in-game because of a minimum requirements error, that's what I'll show you to fix in this video, assuming you do actually meet the minimum requirements when it comes to hardware. Obviously, this is quite a demanding game, but scrolling down on the Steam Store page, for example, assuming you meet the minimum requirements here, what exactly can we do to fix this error if you're getting it? Well, first of all, let's make sure that you're actually on the correct version of Windows, which is Windows 10 at 21H1 or above. The simplest way to find out is hold start and press R, the Windows key and R, to pull up this window here. Type in WinVer, as such, W-I-N-V-E-R, and hit OK. This will bring up an information window telling us what we're currently running. I'm running Windows 22H2, which is above 21H1, so I'm definitely able to play this game. Let's assume that you aren't up to date. All you need to do is open up Windows Update and update your system. Hit Start, open up your Settings window, and inside of here, under Windows Update, simply click Check for Updates. Assuming you don't see any updates and you're not running 21H1 or above, what you can do is download the Windows 10 or 11 installation media, run the installer, and choose to keep your files when you upgrade. That way, you can upgrade from wherever you are currently to Windows 10 or Windows 11 and be able to run the game. Assuming you do meet the minimum requirements in terms of both Windows and hardware, you're probably running a laptop and running into this error, or at least a computer with a dedicated and an integrated graphics card. When you're running on certain power configurations, like without a power cable but on battery, it may default to the slower graphics card or chip, causing the game to not start up properly. There's a very simple solution to this, and it's most likely going to solve your issue if you're trying to play this game on a laptop. Hit start and type in graphics, or we'll be opening up graphics settings. It'll pull up a window that looks like this. System, display, graphics. In here, all you need to do is choose desktop app from the drop down here. Otherwise, if you're playing Starfield on the Xbox Game Pass, you'll need to choose it from the Microsoft Store app here, but more than likely it's on Steam, so desktop app, and click browse. What we'll do is navigate to where Starfield is installed. More than likely, see Program Files 86, Steam, followed by Steam Apps, Common, and Starfield. If you don't know where the game is installed, open up Steam, then right-click Starfield, and choose Manage, followed by Browse Local Files. This will take us to the same folder, where we can copy the path at the very top. Once we navigate in the selector to the Starfield folder, select Starfield.exe, and click Add. Now, we'll select it on the list down here, choose Options, and make sure you select High Performance instead of Power Saving. Click Save, and now we should be able to play the game as it should use our correct graphics card rather than the lower-powered power-saving one. Finally, if you're still having issues, it's a good idea to update your graphics card driver, especially if you haven't done so in a very long time. You can do this either through the use of software like NVIDIA GeForce Experience or AMD's and Intel's equivalent, or of course you can download the latest driver from their website. You'll find links down below. For example, the NVIDIA driver will take you to a site like this, select your graphics card series, in my case 30, then your actual graphics card, in my case 3080 Ti, select your Windows version, 11 for me, and finally you can choose Game Ready or Studio Driver if you want a more stable experience. I'll go with Game Ready for now, click Search, then click Download here. This will then allow us to download the full installer for our graphics card, and when it's done, we can open it up. This will update us to the latest version. But if for some reason updating doesn't actually help you, it's a good idea to run a clean update. In the installer, whether it's NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, you should find an option that allows you to choose Custom, followed by Perform a Clean Installation. This will wipe all your settings for your graphics card off your PC, and when the reinstallation is complete, Starfield should hopefully run happily. Anyways, that's about it for this super quick guide. If you'd like to go even further, you can use software like Display Driver Uninstaller to completely wipe your graphics card driver off your PC and install the latest version of your driver before Windows gets to through Windows Update. But that's a bit more advanced, and you most likely won't need to look into something like DDU. Anyways, that's about it for this super quick guide, so thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!